Hello everybody, welcome to this course on API test automation using Karate Framework. My name is Milin Arbaikar and I am a software architect at a technology company called Connectwise. I have over 18 years of experience in software design, development and testing. I am also very passionate about teaching technology related subjects. So let me start by saying why I created this tutorial series. After having seen and used quite a few test automation frameworks in the past, I got introduced to Karate some 3-4 years back. I was immediately impressed with the framework and the feeling still continues. There are a lot of things to like about Karate, but the two most important things that stand out in my opinion are 1. Its simplicity. It is very easy to write programs or test automation using Karate Framework. It is so easy that you don't even need programming expertise to write tests. This means you and your teams are going to have much smaller learning curves. This means you are going to get more things done in a short span of time. Number two is feature and capability. Simplicity without features or capability is of not much use. Karate provides many many features to help automate your API testing. Be it REST APIs or GraphQL APIs, the two most prevalent standards out there. Most of these features and capabilities are available for you out of the box. That means, again, you don't need programming expertise to make use of them. But for complex scenarios, you can always take the steering wheel in your own hand and write custom code for your specific needs. Having seen the usefulness of this framework, it is the conviction in the framework that led me to do this tutorial series. So what are we going to cover in this tutorial? This is going to be a hands-on course, which means you are going to be writing a lot of test automation throughout this series. We will start with the installation of the framework and understanding project structure before we jump into writing tests. We will cover everything from the basics to advanced topic that are necessary for you to write your day-to-day -day tests. We will also see how you can use Karate for non-API related test automation. Hopefully, by the end of the series, I'll be able to show you why Karate has become one of the most loved and go-to frameworks for API test automation even though it had a late start. So who is this course for? The general answer is for anyone who is interested in learning an API test automation framework or Karate test framework in particular. But I think a software engineer or a quality assurance engineer who is just starting out in the world of API test automation would be an ideal candidate. I do not presume much technical expertise on part of the audience before taking this course. A background in Java could be useful but not mandatory. I do expect the audience however to be familiar with the concepts of APIs, what they are and how they are used. I also expect the audience to understand the general importance of automation. I am not going to cover these subjects in this tutorial. APIs are ubiquitous nowadays and there are so many wonderful tutorials already out there on the web. I thought it was best to focus on the core subject of how to use Karate to do the job. Again, Karate as a framework has evolved to do a lot of things, but API automation remains its biggest strength and that is what we are going to focus on in this tutorial. So that's it. I welcome you again and thank you for taking this course. I will see you in the next video. Happy learning.